course I have a different perspective. I'm fucking old. Where are my old people at? Dead, I guess. You young people planning to be old? Good thinking, don't do it, I'll tell you. It sucks. The only good thing that's happened to me recently is that I finally, finally qualified for Social Security. No, it turned to shit. The guy told me they're running out of money. I got pissed. I told him. This isn't going to work for me. How do you expect me to pay for my weed? And I need my weed, you know? Because without weed, I find Dr. Phil unwatchable. And I also need my weed because, you know, without weed, the plots in porn flicks are stupid. <laughs> but as long as I'm talking about weed, I think it's about time that we pay tribute to the people who discovered marijuana in the first place. The American Indian. Just think of all the different kinds of weed they must have smoked until they found the right one. <laughs> and you know how they knew they found the right one? Because they traded Manhattan for a bunch of shiny beads and they were happy about it. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, there is a downside, young people, for weed. I gotta tell you that weed has destroyed every one of my marriages. <laughs> No, this woman came up to me one day and she said, Hey, Pothead, I want a divorce. And I was like, Who the fuck are you? <laughs> you know, I just figured it out I suck at relationships, you know? But I finally figured out why. You know what they say, that once you go black, you'll never go back? Well, apparently, once you go Jew, anyone else will do! <laughs> In fact, I'm finding the only women that want to go out with me are grandmothers. And who the hell needs two bitter people in the same relationship? Now, some of you young people probably don't want to hear a man of my age talking about sex. Is that right? No. Well, good, because fuck you who you don't, because that's what I'm going to be talking about. Yeah. So I'm banging this old lady. Believe it or not, sparks flew. That's when her hip replacement hit the metal plate in my head. What the fuck was I going to talk about now? Oh, 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 You know, it's tough when you get to be this age because, for me, I can't remember shit. Let me ask you, did you ever go into a room in your house and you have no idea while you're there? Well, now I go into a room and I find out I'm in the wrong fucking house. A friend of mine said I should leave post-its around, so I tried it. I came home the other day, walked in the kitchen, I saw a post-it. It said, don't forget to do it tonight. <laughs> then I saw a second post-it, it said, have you done it yet? <laughs> then I saw a third post-it, it said, too late, asshole, you just shit your pants. <laughs> You 
You know, the only thing worse than memory is when you start driving old. And I remember when it happened to me, I even remember the day I was driving along, I looked down at my speedometer, and I'm going six. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I better slow down. <laughs> if any of you were following me that day, maybe you'll recognize this. Hold on. <laughs> How about now? <laughs> Thank you, that's my time. I gotta drive home, so I'll take the TV. Thank you very much.